All right, this is Dr. Michael Mueller, and today we are going to chat about the top 10 peptides. We're going to talk about what they do, how they do it, and the potential risks. And peptides are exciting, folks. In fact, I absolutely love peptides, which is why I am here to teach. And don't forget, folks, everything here is for education and entertainment only. So please enjoy the video. But if you need medical assistance, please see a physician. And the first peptide on that list, folks, and it is a beauty, is BPC-157. And this one's magical because it could, it could help you to repair damaged tendons, ligaments, muscles, and other injuries that typically occur with sports or overuse. And this one's also special for gut health. Yes, you heard me correctly. It works in the intestinal tract to uh, basically restore gut health and to help uh, folks with things such as leaky gut, irritable bowel syndrome, and things like that. But a lot of folks use this in the athletic space for injury recovery, right? If you tweak a tendon, if you strain a ligament, if you uh, overdo, you know, overuse or injure a muscle, it can help with repair uh, in that regard also. So this one works. Uh, it's actually derived from human gastric juice. And what it does is it triggers angiogenesis, which is the formation of new blood vessels to the area where the injury has occurred. And at, when it does this, it increases the expression of growth factors that help to speed up tissue repair. Interestingly, they did rat studies with BPC-157. And in these studies, they severed the Achilles tendons of rats. And many of the rats had Achilles tendons that repaired themselves after being treated with BPC-157. Um, and this, folks, is promising. Now, you're not a rat. I'm not a rat. But uh, we could, could make the assumption that if this peptide benefited rats, it could also benefit human beings. And it's been around for a long time. A lot of folks like it and a lot of folks use it, um, but it probably shouldn't be used in someone with a known history of cancer uh, just because the angiogenesis variable could potentially feed a cancer. So again, with any peptide, you wanna talk to a doctor before starting it and before starting BPC-157. I would recommend consulting a physician. Now, number two on the list is semaglutide, which is a GLP-1 uh, medication, right? It's a weight loss medicine. And uh, the current meds out there are semaglutide, right? Terzepatide, and then we have retitrutide, which is coming out. But these meds work for weight loss and the management of type 2 diabetes. You might know these by their name brands, right? Wagovi, Ozempic, Manjaro. These are extremely popular, and I use these every day in my clinic to help people lose weight. But they also have benefits beyond weight loss. They help lower your risk for stroke, lower your risk for heart attack, diabetes, cognitive decline, Alzheimer's disease, sleep apnea. These things do many wonderful things beyond weight loss, but their popularity is because of the weight loss benefit. And what they do is they mimic the GLP-1 hormone, which slows digestion and tells the brain you are full. Now, the side effects with these, very commonly you can see nausea, vomiting, constipation. Again, this is quite rare. I don't see this in my patients very often. And even more rarely, you can see pancreatitis, um, muscle loss, um, and maybe even some visual changes. So again, you don't want to take these medicines by randomly going online and buying them. You want to chat with a physician so you can get the proper care needed while on the GLP-1 medications. The third one on the list is ipamorelin, I-P-A-M-O-R-E-L-I-N. And this one is magical. It helps with anti-aging, it helps with fat loss, and it helps you to gain lean muscle mass, right? And how does it do it? It's a growth hormone secretagogue that mimics, gre mimics ghrelin, and this tells your pituitary gland to release a little extra growth hormone. And that's what helps with muscle recovery. It's what helps with fat loss. And it also helps with anti-aging and longevity. Side effects. Well, you can get some headaches with this, maybe some flushing. Some people can experience fluid retention. Again, that's why you want to chat with a doctor while taking it. Number four on the list is CJC1295. And this one is super uh, great at helping to improve sleep quality. And it's wonderful for muscle recovery. And this too is a growth hormone releasing hormone analog that extends the pulse of growth hormone release. And that uh, extended uh, period of growth hormone release 
helps with the benefit, especially with muscle recovery and sleep. And this one is often paired with ipamorelin, I-P-A-M-O-R-E-L-I-N, the one we talked about previously. And when you stack these two together, you get a synergistic effect, which uh, causes both of these peptides to work even better. And side effects, flushing, dizziness, um, pituitary fatigue, things like this. Again, that's why you want to seek the advice of a professional when using these peptides. And folks, the next one, number five on the list, is thymosin beta-4, also known as TB500. And this one is great for uh, injury recovery. It's great for reducing inflammation. And I use it a lot along with, uh, 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 very often with BPC-157. The two together, that's the Wolverine stack, and it's quite popular for injury recovery. But a lot of my athletes love this one. And again, it helps with systemic injury recovery. It reduces inflammation. And this too promotes cell migration uh, to the area where the damage has occurred. And this helps with the repair of fiber uh, and, ten uh, I mean, with muscle fibers, uh, skin, tissue, tendon, ligament, all of those things. Uh, it helps, you know, repair those by getting um, cells that are important for that repair to the location of the injury so things can get fixed, right? And the risks with this one, because it's a powerful growth promoter, this one theoretically could, if you have a history of cancer or you're high risk for cancer, it could accelerate uh, the recurrence of a cancer or cause a cancer to occur. Again, that's why you want to chat with a provider. It's very rare to get any side effects like this, but you know, folks, we have to talk about the pros and we have to talk about the cons. We have to talk about the benefits, but we also have to talk about the risks. And that's why I say always see a physician when getting peptides. So number six, folks, and this one is a magical for skin rejuvenation. This one is GHK copper, GHK slash or dash CU, and it's great for skin rejuvenation hair growth, and wound healing. This one can be given by injection, but it also works wonderfully uh, when you use it topically. Uh, so I have a lot of patients that use it topically. It's a naturally occurring copper complex that stimulates collagen and elastin production uh, and also helping uh, prevent uh, against oxidative damage at the cellular level. So this one is great for skin. It's great for hair. Folks really like this peptide. Risks, when it's injected, it can be quite painful, almost like a bee sting. And overuse, meaning if you use it for too long, can cause copper toxicity or zinc depletion. Uh, and that's why you want to get the guidance from the proper uh, professional when on this peptide. So PT141, folks, bremelanotide, B-R-E-M-E-L-A-N-O-T-I-D-E. -E. My patients love this one, folks. This one is used to treat sexual dysfunction in both men and women. When you use this, you will have a very strong desire. Uh, it will increase your libido and it will help you to per perform better during that magical event, right? And it's different than Viagra. Viagra works on blood flow to the area of need, right? And this one works centrally on the melanocortin receptors in the brain to increase desire and arousal. And this one too can cause, um, can do as Viagra does. It can help men with ED. Uh, and this one's very popular. A lot of my patients that use this absolutely love it. Now the risks, I see a lot of nausea with this medication. You can get some flushing. Um, you can get some blood pressure fluctuations. So again, seek the help of a physician when starting this one. But this one's popular and it is a fun peptide to use. And it has a sister peptide or a similar peptide called melanotan, M-E-L-A-N-O-T-A-N, melanotan 2. And this one kind of has some effects similar to PT-141, but this one is actually used for skin tanning. Yes, you heard me correctly. If you want to get a nice tan, Melana Tan helps with that. And how do you use it? Well, you use it prior to going out in the sun. Uh, and this one not only helps you to tan and, and maybe get a little nicer complexion, but it also enhances libido like PT-141. So not only can you go out and get a nice tan and enjoy the beach, but you can also enjoy the fireworks once you get back to the house. Um, how does it work? Well, it stimulates the production of melanin, which darkens the skin, and it mimics, uh, it does this by mimicking the alpha melanocyte stimulating hormone. So this one is a good one, but if you have a history of skin cancer, or if you are at high risk for skin cancer, you wanna be careful with this one 
because it can uh, cause a darkening of, of existing moles. And uh, from a libido perspective, it can also cause something um, called priapism, which is an erection which will not go down. So you have to watch this one carefully. If you were to get a priapism, you would want to go to the emergency room and get the proper care. And again, that's why you want to chat with a physician before starting these. The la uh, number nine is tesamorelin, T-E-S-A-M-O-R-E-L-I-N. And this one is an amazing peptide for getting rid of visceral fat. That's the deep belly fat behind the muscle wall. Uh, it's the bad fat that causes lots of problems for people. So if you want to get rid of visceral fat, tesamorelin is the best peptide for that. It specifically targets the fat around organs, and it does this by stimulating growth hormone release more aggressively than ipamorelin or CJC1295 or sermorelin, which is another peptide we use for similar uh, things. This one can uh, the risk with this is it can cause issues with blood sugar and joint pain. So again, discuss this with your doctor. And last but not least, one of my favorite folks is NAD plus peptides um, and precursors. Well, what does that mean? Well, NAD folks is nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. This one works at the cellular level, right? To improve cellular health. It helps with mitochondrial function, which uh, mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. And by improving mitochondrial function, it helps with uh, ATP production, which improves energy level. And this one is great for energy. It's great for DNA repair. And it's great for longevity, especially cognitive light longevity. I have patients all the time that tell me not only do they feel better, but they think better with the use of NAD. What are the risks? Well, if you get this infused too rapidly, or if you take too large of an injection, it can cause chest pressure and flushing and sometimes stomach cramping. So you want to be gingerly when taking this. You want to start at a low dose uh, and you want to just be careful. But this one is one I use every week. I love it. I think everybody on the planet should use it. Again, not medical advice, just being hypothetical. Now, don't forget, folks, even though I am a physician and I trained at the Mayo Clinic, I am not your physician. So if you need medical advice, please seek the uh, assistance of a physician. Uh, remember, everything in this video is for entertainment and education only. But folks, peptides are beautiful. Peptides are good, but they should only be taken with the assistance of a medical provider. So that's it, folks. Have a good day. Thanks for listening. I'll be back at you soon. Hit the like button, subscribe, thumbs up. Have a good day.